It was just overwhelming. And the reason why, because I don't look at myself, I consider myself as being a teacher of the year, but for my peers to think that way of me, it was just so, it was just a proud moment for me. It's just an environment where everybody's supported and the expectations are high. They're set high, but the children will achieve and the teachers will achieve. I feel like if you feel if you feel supported, you're gonna give more. You know what? I, I really don't believe I could have been teacher of the year without without my team, without the without my PLC. I have one little girl that I get off the bus in the morning and we're walking down in the morning and everybody's saying hi, hi, hi. And she turns to me and she says, why does everybody say hi to me? And it's because they're glad you're here, you know. So it, it, you can see it in their faces that, that, that they enjoy being here too. I want my students to come to school every day excited to learn. So we set up the day, it's a busy day, filled with several lessons, activities throughout the day that are engaging and hands-on and get them excited about their learning. It's just amazing to see a student go from nothing, so to speak, no academic language, no academic abilities, to so full on writing paragraphs or maybe even competing in a speech competition. And so that's great to see them struggle at first, but then the light comes on and all of a sudden they have a whole new appreciation for what you're teaching. There's honestly never a dull moment when you're dealing with young adolescents who are trying to figure out who they are and what they want to become. I just want an environment where they, where they feel comfortable, where they can walk into it and sort of leave whatever happened before that at the door so that they can be productive in my class. So my goal is to just give as much that I can so that we can give them opportunities to be who they are, performers. And one thing that I really like to see is that when they leave here is I end up seeing them at the sixth grade academy or the middle school and the high school performing. That relational uh, part of teaching became very, very important to me. You know, going to their ball games, seeing what they do outside of school, knowing them as a person, um, not just as a student, became more important to me. When you get that little breakthrough um, where they've been working and they've been struggling and they get that breakthrough and it sticks and they're so excited to see what they're capable of doing. I loved my experiences at school with my elementary school teachers and then my mom also, um, she has a learning disability, and seeing her go through that and her push for me and my sister to have a stronger, active role in education and like the importance of it made me want to do that for others. I want to have that same inspiration for my kids, my students, excuse me. <laughs>